how to test your prototype in six easy steps. Stanford's D Bootcamp Bootleg um, suggests prototype as if you know you're right, but test as if you know you're wrong. Step one, get your prototype ready to test. I had an app that I created in concept.ly. Before I tested the app, I updated it based on the users I was going to test for. Step two, identify your user or target audience. My app was controlled by school counselors, but used by students and parents. For my testing, I targeted elementary students by creating an elementary version of the app. For school counselors, I had two versions to view, a high school version and an elementary version. Next, create a way to get feedback from peers or from my stance, the school counselors. Um, I wrote a blog about the app and sent it out on my Twitter PLN and discussion board. Um, the blog that I wrote um, had a video explaining how it worked, the elementary version and high school version to, to let them go ahead and explore, and then a Google survey that I created, a very short survey, and then to offer a little bit of an incentive, I just offered free resources um, for filling out the survey. Next, I needed to create a way to get feedback from the users. Um, for my app, I did a one-on-one -on -one interview, um, and for my first observation, I did also record it, um, the hands doing the movements of the app. You could also do this in a group as well. Other ideas um, that you may be interested in are listed here, but what I found if you are doing an EdTech app, um, is this user guide, which is called the EdTech Developer's Guide, and this has a lot of this information to help you develop an EdTech app. Step five, you would you want to create your protocol. Um, I created a script that guided me through the one-on-one -on -one interviews, and to minimize the bias, I told the, the students um, that I was testing it for a team. Also, you could have someone else test as you observe. The full script um, looked like this, so that I could um, jot down notes and also just help me as I was going through the interview. Step six, you wanna collect your feedback and create a test report. Um, so I was able to collect the surveys and interviews and then put together a test report um, that I posted on a blog. So this had all of my information that I gathered um, and also the student information. And then I was able to make a conclusion about um, what was the end result. The last um, step is to evaluate your possible results. So it could work and it could be mixed or it could have botched. So um, with my app, I felt like it worked, but it also was mixed because I do need to update um, and I got a lot of feedback on possible ways to do that. So overall, I felt that my app was successful and hopefully you will go through this process and get the results that you are looking for. Hope this helps you when you do your testing. Thanks.